I'm with you. Yeah, what does this mean for Monarch? And first of all, you all have had that Town Bank, if I remember correctly, Town Bank and Monarch tried to do this five years ago. Didn't work out. Right. Now it's working out, and Monarch seems to be getting a lot per share for this. Tell me about that. That's well, the bottom line. Yeah, the bottom, well, the real bottom line is, um, you know, Monarch Bank is the second largest community bank in the market. Town Bank's number one. And um, we're both extremely profitable and high performing. So we're, the, we're the, really the only two high performing banks in the market. And we've been, we were competitors for years. I mean, we, we respect each other. And uh, it came down to if we put our banks together, what can we do together? Uh, we both give back to the community. Um, I think town gives back 8% of their profits. We give back 5% of our profits. And our cultures are so similar. Our people are strong. And really what they were after is um, you know, combining the companies and our leadership being integrated into their company. So um, all of our executive leadership will take major roles in the new company, which is unheard of in a merger of this size. Right, it really is. Will there be any layoffs that you know of? Uh, we don't know that yet. So we're gonna work through that. We're gonna try to uh, hire as many people as we can. Uh, the good news is our corporate board of directors, um, every one of our board members has a seat at the, with the new company, which is uh, also unheard of in, 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 a, in a deal like this. Right, so all the executives of Monarch carry over to perform something at town. Correct. Well, what, ha what would the new company be called? Town Bank? It'll be Town Bank. All right. Town Bank. And what about the executives there? Will there be uh, overlapping or? No, there's actually the unique thing about this opportunity is they had openings or they had positions. They've grown quite a bit themselves. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, for example, they don't have a chief information officer, so our chief information officer will be joining Town Bank. Um, I'll be joining as chief operating officer, which is a role that's open right now. Mm -hmm. And so it really was, it was a unique kind of jigsaw puzzle where we saw both companies had some, some holds, I guess, and by combining the companies, our clients are going to be thrilled because we're going to be able to lend them more money as a larger company, and um, services are greater. We don't offer insurance now at Monarch. We can offer insurance when we're with town. Um, there's just incredible synergies between the companies, and we, we uh, have a very similar culture, our culture of giving back, our culture of putting our people first. Uh, it's, uh, we're, you know, our cultures are going to combine very nicely, unlike deals you used to hear about 10 and 20 years ago where big banks would come in. This is truly a merger of two companies. I saw someone leave. Everyone seemed happy. Yes. I did see someone leaving who was crying. Correct. Why was she crying? Why would she be crying? Well, it's an emotional time. I mean, we have a lot of people. I mean, I've been here 12 years and put my heart and soul in this company. There are people who have been here 17 years since we were founded. And um, it's, you know, when you first hear it, it's shocking. I mean, because we compete with town every day. So we, we, we kind of, we're, we're, you know, we're kind of Hertz and Avis. We're, we compete every day. So when you talk about getting together with your competitor, it, it, it takes some time to process. Now, what does this mean for your customers? Will they notice any difference? Obviously, will the Monarch banks become town banks? We will. Or will you be selling off some of those properties? We will be probably combining some, some overlapping offices. Um, we haven't determined any of that. So. Um, you know, the, there's the opportunity for our, for our, we call them clients, our customers and clients, is, you know, up until we actually do something in, in the summer, probably with systems, um, they're going to keep banking with Monarch. We're going to be Monarch for another six, six to nine months as we go through this process. And um, once the process takes hold, then I think our clients will have more opportunities. What will be the final thing that makes it absolutely official that there's this merger? Your shareholders have to vote and approve it. Do we have a date for that? Uh, we do not. That'll be in the spring, early spring. So that's traditional. A shareholder vote would have to occur. Um, regulators have to approve everything now. We're, you know, we're a highly regulated industry. Um, we really don't anticipate anything getting in the way as far as uh, you know, uh, barricades to, to making this opportunity happen. How long have you been working on this? <clears throat> uh, several weeks. It's been a relatively short time. Um, I, let me <clears throat> Good. 